Habitats critical to Sarasota Bay marine life include mangrove wetlands, seagrasses, reefs, and hard bottom. These ecological characteristics were changed primarily due to dredge and fill operations that took place in the 1950s to provide boat access to waterfront home sites. To mitigate the damage, the Sarasota Bay Estuary Program has embarked on an aggressive program to recreate lost habitats, as well as improve those that still exist. At the Sarasota Bay Estuary Program, we do several different types of habitat restoration, including intertidal freshwater restoration projects, artificial reefs, both within the bay and slightly within the gulf. We also do oyster restoration projects and have, have uh, worked a little bit on seagrasses as well. On a habitat restoration project such as this, the, the role of the Sarasota Bay Estuary Program is generally to act as the project manager. We bring together the partners, we bring the funding to the table from, dif from the different partners. We work with the contractors that do the planning, permitting, construction, and often find some of the volunteers that come out and often help on these projects with regards to uh, revegetation. In addition, 2,500 artificial reef balls have been deployed in the bay and the nearshore gulf waters to provide a foundation for fishery habitat. The fish count at these reefs is a testament to their effectiveness. These artificial reefs we've found through diving research have provided habitat for over 30 species of fish and crabs and shrimp, and they actually provide an intermediate area. The mangrove habitat restoration that we do provides nursery habitat for young juvenile fish, and then those fish start to grow up, and they go out to the artificial reefs. So essentially, we're providing new fish habitat where there was, where there was none before, so we're going from zero to 68,000 fish per acre. The health of Sarasota Bay has seen significant gains since it was named an Estuary of National Significance by the U.S. Congress in 1989. Water quality has improved substantially, including decreases in nitrogen pollution by approximately 50 percent, fewer impaired areas, and 4,058 acres of new or improved seagrass beds. All main bay segments currently meet state water quality standards. The system itself has improved. The data that we've looked at is suggesting that there's many good indicators that a lot of good things have happened in the Bay as a result of the actions that have been taken by this community. The success story is the local governments. It's Manatee County, it's Sarasota County, it's the city of Bradenton, it's the city of Sarasota, it's the town of Longbow Key, Sarasota County. It's, it's all the partners together that are making the difference. And that's why we're sitting here today with such an enjoyable environment. Wastewater pollution has decreased by 85% since 1988 and is a direct result of the development of alternative sources, such as reclaimed water in combination with the removal of decrepit sewage treatment facilities and the replacement of leaking septic tanks.